Hi, I'm Michi and that's my channel. <laughs> uh, I always say today we do a puzzle or this and that and um, I'm adding a video and I have no intro <laughs> and I knew I had to make an intro. Um, I filmed it over and talked about uh, now I begin a new project and what should I do. I could do this and that and um, I'm watching this I'm, I'm thinking about no I don't want to <laughs> take an intro but I think I must explain a little uh, what what just begin um, what in the videos just begin so I've started a new project <laughs> I already commented um, somewhere that I started the 6000 bluebird puzzle and yes, I've started it and I finished it already. Um, but there's no video on. Because, yeah, I don't know. The project is growing bigger and bigger. And um, now in the intro, I have 20 minutes already talked. And yes, I could. Um, I could. Uh, cut out some of the explanations but in short and long I want to I want to wish to have this unboxing to show you the pieces uh, to mixing the two bags together course are doing a 6000 piece puzzle and rumbling to the pieces and trying to explain how I want to sort it would take about 25 minutes plus the intro and the video is long enough, so uh, I decided to do an intro part. Uh, so uh, let me, when you didn't want to, to me talking about how I built the puzzle or how I mixed the pieces or showing you the pieces compare compare to Ravensburger and so on, then wait to the next uh, video. I'm trying to add the video um, as fast as I could. I think next week you can uh, see part one of the building and part two will be following uh, as soon as I edit in the video. It's now weekend so I can do a little bit of um, <laughs> editing and I think I would do this in the next two weeks so that that's a serious. Um, I finished the puzzle already so I can surely say <laughs> It's only me and adding the video and then you will see this. So uh, enjoy the intro and the mixing the bags together and explaining the pieces to you. And next week we see each other to the part one build. So hi. <laughs> Start a new video and a new project is always... Mm, I don't know where it brings me to. But I've bought me two 6,000 piece puzzles <laughs> and I've puzzled one 6,000 piece puzzles and find the clue, the wrong doings, find the X where it's not marking. Ah, I have a second 6,000 piece puzzle and I want to puzzle it and it didn't go out of my head. I don't know why. <laughs> so let me show you this. Great big thing. I have lots of videos that I could do. Also, I have puzzles and puzzles over puzzles that I didn't puzzle on the channel. Of course, this art puzzle. Sorry. Of course, this art puzzle is also one of the puzzles I didn't, did not, I haven't done. <laughs> I have. Three exit puzzles. <laughs> Here are two, and one is um, on the shelf. And I knew I could do this. I could do this. I could do uh, one of my Cellinis. Of course, the art puzzle is also a nice thing to do. That's one of um, Hofa. <laughs> it's one of uh, my fim five euro. euro. 5 euro puzzles, so really cheap but good quality and I like the I like the pieces 
and of course I have this here. <laughs> it's a blue board puzzle. It has 6,000 pieces. It's a beautiful greenhouse. Uh, I always think um, <sighs> flowers are the texture that is uh, difficult than anything else in the world when you're doing puzzles. Maybe it's fur also, but I don't like pets to puzzle, so I uh, like flowers to puzzle and I always find flowers is <laughs> intimidating uh, hard. Uh, maybe fur is also, but I didn't do much fur puzzle, so they, there is no really amount of things or remembrance where I am struggle with fur but I have many remembrance when I struggle with flowers <laughs> so, and I don't know it's also a thing of like uh, the puzzle pieces are really small that's the one thing that's it's, it's so funny maybe uh, we open this once. <laughs> they have a cutting line <laughs> where they're divided. And this puzzle has 6,000 pieces but two bags. Two bags of 3,000 pieces, I think. And it's for a 6,000 piece puzzle, it's really small. The, the 3,000 piece puzzle could go on my, my table. I didn't uh, need the big board and when I do this on the big board then I have the space to do this on the big board. Of course uh, it would be really really smaller and you will see everything. Um, I really been thinking the Clementoni was the one that's higher on my pro priority and I buy this course both of the puzzles weren't that expensive that I freaking out. The art puzzle I buy uh, to have free shipping. <laughs> and that was enough. The three puzzles was enough to get free shipping and it's about 16 euros to, to get free shipping. And so you see the puzzles aren't that, that expensive. It wasn't, I think, a little bit over 20 years. And so uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't, wasn't that expensive that I think 6,000 pieces for only 20 euros. <laughs> uh, I think I buy two of. <laughs> and this is one of the two Bluebird is, I think, working with Grafica. It's uh, the second brand they do and so I thought um, they have a really good Grafica tall puzzle and maybe it's the same quality as them so... <laughs> uh, but the pieces are really small so I open one of the bags. Of course I want to see the pieces really really closely so we can see the pieces here and the bags are not labeled I think there was no booklet or some or something else in it only the two bags of the pieces but here is a label I think it's here <laughs> there is writing on it so it must be this side of the puzzle but I also, uh, I'm also uh, a little bit um, uh, struggling with uh, should I do this as one puzzle or should I do first the first 3000 and then the second 3000 pieces. And that's also, uh, I think, a repeat piece cut is sometimes difficult when the puzzle is not unique enough or the, the picture is not unique enough and there is many greens, uh, many uh, flowers that have the same color and I don't know if it's the right 
decision to, to do this as one parcel, of course. Maybe I couldn't sort it enough and what should I do when, when the puzzle gets switched to another? Beside this 3000 piece sorting isn't 6000 piece sorting, so <laughs> it's much more easier to, to do a sort of about 3000 pieces and not 6000. So that's the one thing. And the other is a 3000 piece puzzle wouldn't take me that long. Um, I think uh, that. Um, I think that the length of a puzzle isn't um, a 1000 piece puzzle take uh, a 500 piece puzzle takes me one hour a thousand piece puzzle takes me two hours a two thousand piece puzzle would me take me uh, four hours no I think it's exponential <laughs> it's a little bit math so uh, it's not that it took you so long, then it double and it double. So no, it wouldn't be uh, a 500 piece puzzle could could when you be fast in one hour. A thousand piece puzzle could you do when you be fast? I think in three hours. Only one person. So um, it gets higher and higher up. The, the more pieces you have, the more pieces you seen through and the more time you, you, you need it. It's, it's like... Um, <sighs> it's like an exponential growth. Take out a hand of pieces, maybe I can. Yeah, I have here the Regensburger machine. So, <laughs> here. And, uh, yes. It's nice to have all these shapes. I think they are really good shapes. So they're long, they're a standard piece, they have the three ins in the, and one out, the other way around. <laughs> they stick together. There I have a, only ins, four ins, and here is a four outs. So it's every piece shaped in. Um, yeah, and here have huh? one or two edge pieces. Oh yeah. The pieces. Oh, <laughs> this is really only two millimeters of cardboard. I don't want to bend this piece. <laughs> but they look nice and sturdy. They are really sturdy. It's maybe you can cut this. Although the, this cutting is in the middle really, really thin, but I ramble through and it's, nothing happens, so <laughs> I'm impressed. The cardboard is really good. Well, it's a normal, I think, blue. I don't know where people say grey board or cardboard, or is there is a, um, a thing or not. But there is not so many standard pieces, so I have more of these other shapes than standard pieces. So here we have one or two. I don't know if you just see this. So they're really a nice shape and variety. Uh, I always struggle with this word. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. And you see the shapes are sometimes like elongated like Vicky Mix Melts would say and sometimes square but this is really a nice thing but let me open this up and you see what i mean when i say they are really small so here is one of the smaller pieces of the <laughs> here is one of the bigger pieces um it's not halfway to, but I think a third off is it is. So you can see that the pieces are really, really smaller than the Ravenscraft puzzle pieces. So here is an edge piece. <laughs> um, yeah. So there is a 
<laughs> Here you can see the pieces when when they struggle together. So <laughs> um, and this mix to to add on the amount of pieces they add on a small a smaller tea of of pieces they are really small but at the first glance the the pieces are matte they have not this linen finish but they have a nice matte finish they haven't got many glare so that's a nice thing to see yeah and the shapes are really good a good variation <laughs> And I always like to have so not standard pieces and here are really the most of them are not standard pieces so and it's only a handful of pieces I grab out maybe here you see the f the four outs and the four ins are <laughs> more than usual yeah. could sort this I'd like to have two pieces that are fitting and that I can see how they fit together, but I think um, they are not sticking together at all. Maybe in the wrong direction, but not in the right direction. So you see here, but it's, it's really usual, normal that these get stick together when you open the bag, then you have always to divide some of them. But I see not a single one that's sticking together and where they are. <laughs> in the right no ah, it's not so uh, and I didn't think I would grab me two or four pieces and I would get two or three ones that stick together and I can see how the fitting is so I must really uh, So it's now uh, my first uh, my first opening the bags and trying to <laughs> make my mind up to do I do a six thousand piece puzzle or do I do a three thousand two times puzzle. I don't know. Have you seen this video from this uh, guy in his? I don't know what it is, but it's look like a workshop where he have make space and have take take him a, a table and uh, laying on a tape a paper on it so that's a flat table with length and bright and he is doing the. The around the world puzzle from Erika, the same as um, for the love of puzzles do. Um, he has made so awful quality video, but it's so interesting. And he explains he wanted to do a forty-two thousand piece puzzle, and he mixing all this bags because he wanted to do this. And uh, I think. It's a little bit stupid to do a 42,000 piece puzzle at its whole course the cut repeats in the sections two times or four times so in the sections you have the problem but to the whole puzzle you have this <laughs> 10 times uh, across I don't know four that's 14 times the same piece, 40 same pieces. Every piece you have is 40 times. <laughs> it's, I don't know if I say stupid, the most of the puzzle will be get puzzled along. But on the sky, maybe they make puzzle the puzzle so that you can mix them together. <laughs> maybe that's enough gradient that you have this not mixing up the puzzle it could go that it's nice <laughs> but when you have a puzzle where 50, 40 pieces are the same cut 
and you're doing this the whole processing long and you can mixing up so much pieces then i don't know maybe it's only me but i think that's a little bit too overwhelming uh, a little bit too more project uh, and he doesn't do this alone so uh, maybe he's brought that out and through the video there came people sign in doing a little bit puzzle and he sort the pieces and sort the pieces and sort the pieces maybe that's that's getting less and less to transfer them so maybe he's right when he says he wanted to do a big 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 puzzle and he doing a big big puzzle and not 10 slower little puzzles so maybe it's the right decision to say oh no i don't want to have a 3000 piece puzzle i want to do a 6000 piece puzzle and i wanted to do the 6000 piece puzzle in one go and with the things i've really been thinking and thinking and thinking and the more I've been thinking about it, I knew I want to mix up both bags. <laughs> I want to do this as a 6,000 piece puzzle. I bought me two 6,000 piece puzzles and I wanted to do a 6,000 piece puzzle, not two 3,000. And I wanted to do it on the big board course. I want to have this it coming together connection feeling. That's the, the thing in the big puzzle. Uh, by the Clementoni when I, everything a puzzle already and have on the phone board and then everything connected on the table on the board it was the I don't know finishing the puzzle wasn't that satisfying like this laying all out feeling was much more satisfying it was such a a great thing to see I have way halfway through and it was such a joy to see that and so i think i will do this in this case all the way same so <laughs> i made my decision i mixed it back <laughs> so let's just open up i think i would like to say i'm nervous and i know i don't want to and how Vicky says when she mixing the two 4,500 pieces together <laughs> with this 9,000 piece puzzle, but it's only 6,000 piece. I haven't got <laughs> so nervous like she was, so we're mixing the bags together and making this one whole puzzle. So, yeah, the one thing I would say is <laughs> I haven't seen much puzzle task. It, really wasn't that much puzzle dust guys hey here are two pieces together <laughs> and here also and here also <laughs> there are one or two pieces sticking together on the second part or oh, i think i would ramble into the pieces it's so nice <laughs> and the pieces are really pretty or oh, i really I'm glad I like the pieces so well. Uh, before they were in the bag, and I didn't uh, see they were really small. And but the surface is nice. The cut, the the colors are, are bright and vibrant, and um, it's it's nice, beautiful. I think this would be a sort by color. To sum up all these things. Uh, it, it isn't easy to decide which pile I make and so I didn't want to predict the piles because I didn't I really didn't know how to sort this maybe I tried to do a little bit more decent sort than by the Clementoni course there is no so distinct thing and that's the thing that I that's that's one of um, I, my hopes that this hasn't this um, sky feeling because there are f uh, sky pieces where blue and blue and the, there is a whole bunch of pieces piles where they're only blue and only sky and I really did the sky in 10 hours so it was really a difficult thing but here you have all over spread over <laughs> things on happened maybe this is a sky feeling piece because there are so many flowers in one spot and maybe it's take much 
pieces and take much space and decide what to sort. And when I decided and uh, doing the sort, then I came back and I tell you which part is which. But I, I don't think I do sorting. Um, I don't think I do sorting on camera. It's the first uh, starting point where I open the bags and we start on the table and start on many foam balls I think um, maybe one or two frustrating um, acts <laughs> like I tried to build a section and it didn't come together uh, but that is the problem of future me <laughs> so I say now bye to you See you by the end of the swap and um, take you with me when I'm thinking about what's my gameplay in this puzzle. <laughs>